If we can't, then this is the time where we break out our oscilloscope. Now our oscilloscope is going to capture the waveform coming back in the ECU uh, or coming the signal from the sensor to the ECU from our camera crank sensor. And that's gonna give us the pattern, uh, the amount of teeth that we see in the pattern. So if we look at an oscilloscope trace here, we can see that on the top, we have a bunch of teeth counting in our pattern. And we can see on the bottom, we have one. Now the top is gonna to be representing our crank teeth. The bottom is our cam tooth. So looking at the number of teeth in the full auto cycle, we can count and figure out what the crank sensor pattern is. And we know looking at our uh, cam sensor trace here, there's just gonna be one tooth. So the pattern might be something like a 24-1 or a 36-1. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna know what that pattern is looking at the oscilloscope trace and be able to populate this data correctly. Now, the next thing we need to know is whether the sensor is a hall or a magnetic sensor. And we looked at this in EFI basics. The hall sensor is gonna have our square wave output. Our mag sensor is gonna have that sine wave output. So if we don't know looking just at the sensor, um, we can see that the mag sensor is going to be a two wire, the hall effects a three or four wire. If we still don't trust just looking at the sensor, the, the, the wiring coming into the sensor, and we really wanna know what it is, if we have that oscilloscope hooked up, we're just gonna simply look at the pattern. We can see the pattern here in this example for the oscilloscope trace is going to be a hall effect sensor. We see this square wave or square tooth pattern. So we know right off the bat that is going to be a uh, square wave pattern. And it's associated with a hall effect. So the next last important thing that we need to establish is going to be our trigger edges for our cam and crank sensor. Now we know that the coil particular uh, coil output is going to be set on the right trigger edge as we found in other, other EFI advanced video in here. Um, so that edge is important in setting our coil type, but it's also gonna be set up or be very important for our particular cam and crank sensor. So that edge has to be set correctly in order for it to count the cam and crank pattern correctly. So there's gonna be a rising or a falling edge. And if we don't know what that uh, particular uh, rising or falling edge trigger signal is going to be, we can simply use our oscilloscope again and look at the data. So if we look here, we can see that our cam sensor is going from high to low back to high again. So that's going to be a falling edge signal. So it's gonna fall down and come back up. Now, if 